Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I want to take a, a bit of a, I don't know if it's a deep dive look, but a, a good solid look at the uh, latest release from Toontrack. If anybody who has followed my channel at all knows that I'm a huge fan of Toontrack and their uh, virtual instruments, uh, Superior Drummer 3 and Easy Bass, Easy Keys, all are, are major staples in my workflow in everything I do. Whether I'm composing music for my own projects, doing session work, uh, composing music for, for video, um, uh, composing demos, what you name it, these have been just invaluable tools to me. Now, one thing about Superior Drummer 3 that maybe some people don't realize is you can buy what they call SDX expansion packs. And most folks know that those are available. And this is one of my favorite features of Superior Drummer 3 is that you get this amazing core library when you buy it, but there's also this deep library of SDX expansion packs available. And I love the fact that ToonTrack partners up with some really great engineers uh, to produce these oftentimes. Now very recently they released the Legacy of Rock drum pack which was a collaboration with the amazing Eddie Kramer. Now anybody who doesn't know Eddie Kramer, he has engineered for the likes of the Rolling Stones, for the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, uh, you, the list goes on and on and on. You can actually go to the ToonTrack Legacy of Rock page and take a look uh, at his credits and it's, it's mind-blowing. Jimi Hendrix is another major one that's going to be pertinent to what we talk about today. So what they've done is they've put out the Legacy of Rock SDX expansion pack with five drum kits and uh, this isn't going to be a deep dive look into the features of Superior Drummer 3. Uh, there's other videos on that and I've done some on that as well. But we're gonna take a look at what they've done with the drums themselves. So first of all, let's take a quick look at what drums they have included with the package. So first and foremost, they have what they call the Amber Kit. Now this kit is a reproduction of the live setup that uh, John Bonham from Led Zeppelin used during the uh, song remains the same recordings at Madison Square Garden in 1976. From there, we move on to what they call the Sparkle Kit. Now, this serves as a tribute to Eddie's studio work with Led Zeppelin in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, they, they were kind of going after composing the drum kit uh, very similar and getting the sounds very similar to the setup that was used on Led Zeppelin II, Houses of the Holy, Physical Gravity, and Coda. Uh, and this is a really interesting sounding kit. Next up, we have the Jet Black Kit. Um, this was actually... Uh, sourced as a reference to Eddie's work on the Rolling Stones' Beggar's Banquet album, and they claim that it's a near replica of the drums that Charlie Watts used for the original sessions. After that, we have the Oyster Kit, and uh, they kind of describe this as another homage to the Beggar's Banquet record, um, and this is also very similar to the drums that Charlie Watts played when tracking Sympathy for the Devil song at Olympic Studios in 1968. And lastly, we have the Silver Kit, and this is a tribute to Jimi Hendrix drummer Mitch Mitchell and the work that Eddie did with him when they recorded drum tracks together. Uh, they say to highlight that and as a reference to his unique crossover style. All right, so those are the kits that are included. Let's go over to uh, Cubase here and I have Superior Drummer 3 opened up in Cubase and we'll take a look at some of these kits. First up I have here is the Amber Kit. This is a, uh, Lud this, these are samples of a Ludwig Vistalite kit from the 1970s. Uh, the shell construction on these are acrylic and the finish is in amber. This is a really interesting sounding kit uh, and we can just get a couple Example of some of the hits. It's really neat though that they also included the Timps. Struck with sticks as Bonham would have done and a gong as well. I can't let that decay all the way without talking because we won't, we won't ever get to stop. What a decay on that. So really interesting sounding kit. Now, for anybody who doesn't know how a Superior Drummer works with their SDXs, what they do is they give you the default drum kits down here, as we can see. We can choose those with kind of just a mixer setting that they you know, put out as kind of a good starting point that, that we can then tweak in our mixes. But they also give us presets oftentimes with the people that they, they produced the particular SDX with, in this case, Eddie Kramer. So we get all of these Eddie Kramer presets that are kind of mix ready 
and they give us a lot of choices so that depending on what mix we're, we're using it in, we can kind of go through and, and um, kind of sample these. They also give, TuneTrack themselves gives a whole bunch of other sort of mix ready presets. So this is really neat and we can tweak those as well. But you know, what a great option to be able to grab, you know, uh, a setting, a uh, mixer preset done by the great Eddie Kramer and drop that into our mix with very little work. And I'm gonna show you in one of my mixes how uh, I sort of dropped some of these in so you can hear what they sound like in the mix without me touching them or altering them at all. All right, so with this drum kit, I'm gonna go over to the Groove Library now. And the other nice thing is when you buy these SDX libraries, you also get a MIDI library with it. Um, this one here, they tell you Norman Garshki, I believe is how you pronounce his name, is the session drummer who played these. And they kind of match up some of these with different, the different kits. So you can see these grooves work with the, really nicely with the amber kit that we're on. There's a set for the sparkle kit and so on and so forth. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use these uh, with, with different uh, libraries or SDX packages. They, they work fine. Sometimes the drum assignment doesn't work, but it still works fine. I've done it many times myself, but here's how this kit sounds with some of the grooves uh, from the Legacy of Rock SDX MIDI library. And the really great thing, for those who haven't used it, we can create songs very quickly. I can go up to verse and say, you know, I like that groove. I'm gonna drag that down in my timeline for the verse. Uh, I'm gonna end that with one of these fills and I can just drag that to the end. Uh, then maybe throw, you know, a chorus in here, go to the chorus fills. I don't even know what this is gonna sound like, but I'm just throwing this together very quickly to show you how you can kind of throw together a really quick drum track and you end up with something like this. So we see how quickly we can throw together just really wonderful little uh, little compositions that we can write over top of. And if we double click these, we can use our grid editor to edit every single note and move things around to customize them. So that's why I love this. The workflow with Superior Drummer 3 is really quite amazing. Really love this stuff. Now the neat thing too, if we go back to the grooves, they make some for timpanis as well. So. Great, great stuff. Uh, they even have some here with the gong. Just some rolls and different hits and whatnot. It's a really great library to get us going with. So another really interesting thing that the folks over at TuneTrack did is they also gave us different tools to strike the drums with. So if we go up here, we can take, if we select our snare drum, for instance, we can go down here and say, you know, it's allowing us to play with the, the drumsticks or with felt mallets. So very quickly it loads up, you know, what I, what I chose here was uh, drumsticks, okay? Now I've chose hands. So that's the drums being hit just with the hands. And if we go over to our groove library, we can go down to kick and snare with hands.
very different sound. And I believe we can do this for all of the drums if we so desired, right? Instead of having them hit with the sticks, we can go to each tom and choose the hands with the wires off. And then, you know, if we come in with some toms and kick snare grooves, Gives us some very interesting sounds and very realistic. I, I, I'm really blown away. This is really coming down to being one of my favorite SDX expansion packs that we've we've been given. Same. So if I go back to my snare now, I can also choose it with felt mallets. I can do the, the same. I believe there's a way of just choosing all the drums at the same time to uh, loading the entire kit with mallets and whatnot. I'm just here right now. So now we have them hit with mallets. We can go over back to our groove library and some grooves that are designed just for mallets. So a lot of great tools built right into this. So that's the Amber kit. Next up we have the Jet Black kit. So this was a kit that was sourced as a reference to Eddie's work on the Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet album. And this is a 1960s Gretsch rock and roll round badge kit, kit with a six ply maple and gumwood shells. So that's what this one sounds like here. Let's go over to our grooves and we'll go down to the Jet Black, which is going to be the, uh, the grooves that were kind of designed for this particular kit. Get some tom grooves going. Remember, these are just on the default mixer settings. We can come in and tweak anything we want here, add effects, or just go up to, like I was mentioning before, one of the sort of uh, presets that they, they include with it from Eddie Kramer or TuneTrack themselves. So that's our Jet Black kit. All right, so next up is the Oyster kit, and this is another uh, Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet inspired kit. Um, the actual drums that were used here are a 1967 Ludwig Super Classic Keystone kit, uh, three ply mahogany poplar shells. And that's what these ones look and sound like. Let's go over some grooves for that. Uh, being the Oyster kit, they kind of give us the same grooves because these are kind of in that Rolling Stone type vein. Let's take a listen. Or some tom grooves. Really lovely sounding kit, I think. Next up is the silver kit. Now this is the setup that was a tribute to a Mitch Mitchell, a Jimi Hendrix old drummer. And the, the drums that are used here is a 1968 Lug Ludwig classic keystone uh, with three ply maple and poplar shells. And that looks and sounds like this. Let's go to some of the grooves for this one and there's your silver kit. And you can see down here that they also offer this with brushes.
So another really great sounding kit. Now, I think I can select the uh, snare here and go down to the brushes. You can hear some of the grooves. Uh, obviously a little bit quieter, but very realistic, really, really well done. And then lastly, here we have the Sparkle Kit. And this again is a tribute to Eddie's work with Zeppelin, as I mentioned before, Zeppelin uh, two Houses of the Holy, Physical Graffiti Coda, as described by Toontrack. And this is a 1970s Ludwig classic blue and olive badge kit with three ply maple shells in a silver sparkle finish. And here's how this one sounds. Let's go over to some of the grooves for that one. So that's how that kit sounds. So what do you guys think? That's just a general run through of what, what kits are included. Uh, there's even more articulations and whatnot that you can really dive into in depth. But now let's take a listen to some of these in the mix. Uh, this video, it's not possible to go through every preset. It would just be too long, but I'm gonna pick a few of mine uh, initial favorites of the Eddie Kramer included presets, and I'm going to just drop them into a mix I recently did for one of my Line 6 Marketplace presets. So all the guitar tones you're hearing here are from the uh, Plexi Trim Ultimate uh, preset that I recently released on Marketplace. So that's what you're hearing, but I used a totally different drum sound. I'm just gonna drop those sounds in. So the mix is not gonna be bang on because I'm just trying to see how these Eddie Kramer presets work within that mix. Enjoy.
what did you guys think? I hope you enjoyed that quick look at uh, the Legacy of Rock, the Eddie Kramer's Legacy of Rock SDX expansion pack for Superior Drummer 3. Uh, anybody who has, doesn't use Superior Drummer 3 or any of the Tune Track products that makes music, uh, you know, composes on their own or any other number of reasons we might need it, some tools like this, should really take a good hard look at Tune Track. I, I made the switch to them a bunch of years ago and have never regretted it. What, an, what a fabulous company. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. Every time they put a product like this, it's basically one of these take my money situations and I'm happy to support such a great company. So please uh, give, them a, give them a look. I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised not only in the sounds but the workflow tools that they've also given us to really get to a finished product in a very uh, streamlined fashion I guess I could call it anyways I hope you enjoyed that please check out uh, the good folks over at TuneTrack and all of their great products and thank you for your time please like the video share it if you don't mind subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I have a link below uh, for you to use to uh, purchase um, the uh, SDX Legacy of Rock and Superior Drummer 3, uh, anybody who is interested in those products. All right. Thanks again, guys, and I will be back soon with some more content. Ciao for now.